this question, we got this question from Gabrielle. And she said, what are the right people for my mapping group? How big should the group be? What are the criteria to decide who is a member and who is a stakeholder? Um, yeah, so this is really about uh, the team. Mm -hmm. well, that's a really good question. I think uh, excellent question. And, and also, yeah, this on the on the question like this it's not one answer mm. and that's usually the case with with good questions so it's more about uh, understanding the situation here uh, but i think that there are a few a few cornerstones to 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 stick to when it comes to to deciding who should be in the team um i think that um think of people internally that can't meet their targets without this customer journey mapping work. So those should either be stakeholders and if they have a little bit more time and can be working on a day-to-day -day basis, they should be in the team. Otherwise they should be in a decision group. I think it's really good to divide in a, in a project group and a decision group. Um, and the team shouldn't be too big. I mean, three people, Maximum, maximum ten, I would say, not more than that. Uh, what, yeah. So the criteria are, for instance, they should be directly involved, have mandate. What? How would you? How would you? If you have to create a team that works on a customer journey map, how would mm. you select the people who you're going to involve? I would select people that uh, can influence and or have mandate or it's connected to their own goals or for all the different parts uh, that are needed for the implementation later on. Mm. I would show those people to be in the team. And what I very often see the mistake that people do is that they think of uh, documenting the documenting and visualization and analyzing part of the customer journey work uh, they don't think of the implementation part where i think that people that need to be in the team to be able to roll things out should be in the team as well so how do you convince somebody who's not part of the sort of first phase uh, of the customer journey mapping people from it people from finance um, who sort of feel that there's a big distance between them and the customer. How do you get them on board in this early stage where while we are still mapping and not implementing? I think it's about getting them to understand how influenced they will be out of this. But I think particularly for the IT people, they are struggling with solving real customer focus needs today and it's a it's a big pressure on it to be uh, to be working with uh, the real business and the real uh, the real of questions about the offering um, and the, the it people are usually uh, a, a part of the process connected to the processes because it comes out of processes and the process has to be connected to the customer so I think it's kind of a, of a of a storytelling there to get them convinced, mm. but then maybe we can't expect IT or legal or those people to be in the in in the group in the first case. But maybe they should be there and don't go to the first meetings. They but they should feel that they are in this group.